response to that story was overwhelming. Today, it's one of the most shared Digging Deeper reports. We were flooded with comments, messages, emails, and phone calls. Our, view sh our viewers sharing their own experiences with the child support system. And in message after message, a recurring pattern. Deadbeat parents go weeks, even months, without paying a dime. Yeah, then right before their court hearing, they offer a small amount of money and get out to walk the court free. We call it the deadbeat discount. ABC 21's Alexis Gray explains. Why did you scribble that out? It's a school night in the Moorhead house. Oh, wow. Homework assignments serve as a sobering reminder for Monica. Let me see yours. That she can't afford the calculators her twin daughters need for math class. It's hard. It is so depressing. It is a very good word for it. It's depressing knowing that my kids don't have completely everything that they need. Moorhead says she often goes without shoes to make ends meet. We struggle all the time, but we do our best. Moorhead shares custody of the twins with their father, who owes more than $7,000 in child support. This even after the county lowered his payments to just $25 a week. It is insanely expensive to raise kids. And $25 a week, that's $100 a month to help raise two children. And it's not enough. Moorhead says she's not getting any help from the agency in charge of enforcing child support, the county prosecutor. They just want to get the hearing done and over with. It's supposed to be a 15-minute hearing. You're in and out in five minutes. They don't care. They don't show any type of compassion in the courtroom. She says the twins' father has been in court four times now for not paying those 25 bucks a week. It's frustrating. It's aggravating. It's annoying having to go through this. Each time, Moorhead says he pays a little bit down, far less than what he owes, right before the hearing and walks right out the door. The system is completely broken and it would take a complete overhaul to fix it. Sean Cook is owed more than $70,000 in child support. And Sarah Spice is owed more than 9300 All three parents are familiar with the deadbeat discount. A broken system that needs to be fixed. Absolutely, it's flawed. You're not letting me down. They're letting all of these children down who need this. No matter how many thousands of people we help, if we're not helping you, then you're going to feel frustrated and feel the system isn't working. Allen County's chief deputy prosecutor defends his department's efforts to collect child support. You would disagree with that assessment, that the system is flawed, needs an overhaul, and has too many loopholes. You know, yeah, I, th I, I would disagree. I mean, is it perfect? Certainly not. And it can be messed up on a, a given day. But it's also a system that takes a long view. A long view that has 80,000 active cases on any given day and has prosecutors and judges weighing whether a child support offender or a violent one should get a cot in an overcrowded jail. If the person walked in, hadn't paid a dime for a year and then puts two or three hundred dollars down, the judge isn't going to put him in jail. Uh, I mean, yeah, but that's exactly yeah, what I know. I know that's what's frustrating. Is. Because uh, so they feel as though the co-parent is getting off mm -hmm. the hook for paying substantially less than what they and, should have been paying. And they're right. But OK, what is the solution to that? He says the entire system is under strain. We have a waiting list now on getting public defenders available to do the cases. So what's the message to the families then, you know? Is essentially well, you saying you're on your own? The, the, no, you're not on, on your own because we have a lot of things that we're doing all the time on those cases. There's no consequence. Do you think that they take advantage of that, that they know about that? Absolutely, they do. They do know. It's... Um, you can walk in with an excuse and a receipt that you paid that day, and they'll let it slide. Cook says by not doubling down on deadbeats. If all they're doing is paying, you know, 10 bucks on a, on a $50, $60 a week child support order, that's not really effort. That's more of a, 
get out of jail free card. It feels like the state is actually rewarding them. Whoops. <laughs> Moorhead and Spice agree. What do you think the answer is? Harsher punishments make it so that it has to be consistent between the court dates. Like you pay every week. Or else what? Put them in jail. It is frustrating for our people too. I, I don't understand how you can have children and not feel an obligation to take care of them. A frustration that takes away the most and I from those who can least afford it.